Welcome back to Mystery Mondays, the Monday mystery show for more shard light. Uh, this guy over here said I can always Alan Rich when he's done with it. I don't, I don't know if we're ever gonna be able to take him up on that. I think he's always gonna be using it. Uh, okay. Uh, none of this stuff matters. I don't have anything. You don't have anything interesting to say to me. I'm moving on. <laughs> All right, we got uh, the name of the save game was Spy Games. So that did that wasn't a good enough clue. Normally, I've been pretty good with the clues lately. <laughs> giving them to myself. I had to look it up at the. Go away, you dog! I have nothing to say to you. The video. I had to look up last. L look at last week's video and be like, where where did I leave off? What was I doing? What were my spy gaze? Papa went out scavenging days ago and has not returned. We're all worried he's. What does the aristocracy do? Nothing. Sit in their towers and watch a star. You are young. You can tell she's not a rebel because she's just openly rebelling. <laughs> Paradoxically, you can tell this woman's not a rebel because she's paradox. She's <laughs> openly. <laughs> was here to extend an offer of food vouchers from the Ministry of Resources. But if she feels that way, it's her loss. Good day to you, citizen. I apologize for upsetting you. <laughs> Alright, why do you dress like colonials? <laughs> Alright, uh, before we were interrupted, as, as, as I was saying, we're gonna go to the Ministry of Medicine in Fripp Square. I'm guessing in that order. I'll go with that order for now. Hello, may I snoop around a bit? <laughs> may I snoop around this government complex a little bit? <laughs> you know someone named Silas? Silas Harrison? But then, I see plenty of names on a daily basis. I have to write the name of all scheduled appointments here in my ledger. Is that name written in your ledger? Afraid not, miss. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> eyes only. And not to be rude, but you don't look like a well government because <laughs> I'm not dressed like an asshole. <laughs> okay. Could you tell me about this bill? You don't get out much, do you? This is the Ministry of Medicine. They're in charge of all health-related issues in the city. So this is where people come to get their vaccines? Correct. Entry is by appointment only, I'm afraid. I kind of figured... We're tracking down a doctor. That's what it was. Uh, We could say this. Alright, good. Perfect. See? That's the whole point of catchphrases, is that you're supposed to, or code phrases, you're supposed to be able to say them in public, and people who aren't the know just don't know. <laughs> There's a Gus and, Gus and Gordon were so, Cat's getting so mad at me for saying the catchphrase to them. <laughs> to the code phrase to them. But. <laughs> Hello there. I? I mean, I've got the perfect life is kind of a bad code phrase. It's a little too weird for people to be saying. It'd be something a little bit less weird. <laughs> Slightly less weird. I Obviously, the, a code phrase has to be something that somebody wouldn't normally say. Have you heard the name Silas Harrison? I have. <laughs> but I've got the perfect life finds you as kind of a weirdo. <laughs> In a post-apocalyptic world. I'm a town crier, not a town directory. If you want to put your nose... I would... The first time she said it, she said, I would have the perfect life. She said something different. She said it wrong. I remember. She said, I would have... If if something happened, I would have had... I would have the perfect life. That might... That might be a slightly better one. <laughs> but it seemed to work when she said it that way anyway. So you're a town crier? Uh... <laughs> They brought back town criers. <laughs> to the people of Fripp Square. They ask about specific headlines. I tell them. Some sort of breaking news arrives from the government. I read it. It's rather simple, really. You sound like a shithead. <laughs> Give me the news. Very well. Right now, the top headlines are Ministry of Energy restarts generators. This is the worst crier. This is the worst crier ever. Hey, a crier standing out and running around going, Hey, everybody, listen up to what I gotta say. <laughs> you know. Newsboys were the extra extras, but town criers were still, they're called criers for crying out loud. 
God, you won't just tell me the news. You gotta let. You gotta make me ask about the headlines. Generators. Fine. Attention, citizens. Fine. The following is an important news bulletin. The Ministry of Energy released a report saying that they have succeeded in restarting 60% of the city's reactors. As a result, more power will be available, starting with the area around Fripp Square. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. Okay. Let's continue bothering this guy because he hates his job. I've got some news for you. <laughs> See. Can I hear some news? Very well. Right now, that menace terror is mysteri- and so. Uh. I have to hear all these so I know. <laughs> I'm assuming this is a puzzle. Get him to say the right thing and somebody does something. I guess. Terrorists headquarters somewhere in the market district. These dissidents are to be considered armed and extremely dangerous to public safety. Anyone with information leading to their arrest is encouraged to report to the nearest aristocrat guard. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activity. No, that one doesn't seem like it matters. That's just he's just talking about Danton. Can I hear it very right? And so. Uh, yeah, the nice one. <laughs> Attention, citizens. The following is an important news. This past week, several citizens reported sighting a strange object in the sky over the quarantine zone. Rumors have persisted that it was the Reaper. However, the Ministry of Knowledge insists that this is not the case. The aristocracy reminds citizens not to be swayed by baseless rumors and superstitions. This concludes the news bulletin. Please okay. There's one more. Hey, there's one more, buddy. Hold on. <laughs> we got to hear the last news. You know, if you're standing at this... <laughs> I guess if he's going to say it anyway, he's like, I might as well say it over the PA, but it seems like he should report it over the PA when he gets the bulletins, and then when somebody comes to his stand, he just tells them. I think he would like his job a lot more if he did that, to be honest, because <laughs> he wouldn't have to just read the bulletin. Like this, he wouldn't have to go through all this. He could be like, "Yeah, this, this, and this." Chance of rain. Today's high will be 24 degrees Celsius, and the low will be 20. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. Today's nice day. All right, let's. Uh, I can't think of anything I could do with that. Push it. <laughs> push it down. Shoot it with your gun. <laughs> That's not a working gun, right? Oh, there's a man here. Great. It's the Raven. That doesn't seem to be bothering this guy at all. I'm looking for Silas Harrison. Do you know him? Know him? Not personally, but I know who he is, certainly. You wouldn't happen to know where he lives, would you? I'm trying to steal his things. I want to take things from him. <laughs> My apologies. I'm Amy Wellard. It's nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too, Amy. My name is Maximilian Huber, but please call me Max. I'm not doing that. I'm not calling you Max. I'll just call you, hey you. <laughs> like I do everybody else. <laughs> You're not special, hey you. <laughs> so, how much time do you spend with your friends? Not all day, but most of it. They are beautiful creatures, aren't they? How those Reaper cultists have turned them into a symbol of fear is beyond me, but I only wish I had something to feed them with. Alright, you want me to bring you bread or something? Alright, do you know anything about my catchphrase? No. Good. Alright. They definitely don't need to be here in my code phrase. You should pick through these ladies' garbage. Oh. Where did you come from? She looks like she just came from the quarantine zone. Because I'm not dressed like an asshole. <laughs> it is, uh, apparently the upper class is also dressed like assholes. That's why the aristocracy gets away with it. That's why the government gets away with... That's why the government gets away with dressing like shithead retards. From the 1700s, <laughs> it's because so are the people, <laughs> so are the, so are the, so are the nobles, <laughs> right? Uh, was there anything? There doesn't seem to be anything else here. Can we just... There's no way I can just walk in there. I don't... 
did I try going in the Ministry of Health or did I just walk away assuming it was locked? Let's try. Let's see. Let's check. Might as well check. Ministry of Medicine. Get in there. Walk through the door. Okay. Let's shoot the guard. I don't. I don't think the pistol should be. I can't just go. Why not? What's the problem? You need to become a woman of action. Put that in the bucket. I don't know. Wait. Let's hope this works. Just causing a distraction. Okay. What was that? Oh, we're just looking at the le checking out the ledger. Ledger, ledger checking I told out. Told them this would happen eventually. <sighs> just gonna stand there. Oh, he's actually picking up. <laughs> You're picking up ceramic shards of. Probably not ceramic. <laughs> Concrete. I don't know what what these things are made of. Guess it. Guess it can't. Guess it wouldn't be too sharp. <laughs> Might be a good idea to take it with me. You just took it. According to this page, Silas Harrison is getting a green lung treatment this evening at sunset. Okay. Uh, here. Right, then we're done, right? I guess go back to Fripp Square. <clears throat> Do we have to track him down or just uh, figure out where he f figure out where he is? Wait, hold on. Uh, let's see. Can I hear very well. right now? Ministry of Energy terrorists rumored mysterious and so. Yeah, let's go with this one. All right, we we may, may attract people to Fripp Square that way. Uh, who knows? Do you know the two women over there? Them? No, oh, don't pay them any mind. They're just a couple of harpies who have nothing better to do with their time than gossip about everything. You should hear them any time the newsman reads out a headline. It's non-stop chatter. But please. Okay. Something more worth having a YouTube. Uh, we've got to eavesdrop on these ones, but that. How do we do? How would we go about doing that? Oh, we've got to look like we've got a job so that they pretend so they don't notice us or something. No. <laughs> okay. We'll figure it out eventually. There's, there's, you, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, I, I'm seeing how this puzzle goes together. <laughs> you gotta talk to that guy and then spy on those guys. Oops. <laughs> but, but, uh, I've got to figure out a way. I've got to have a spy. I've got to have a listening device first. I've got to have a way to listen to these people or, uh, uh, I, uh, disguise or a job. And then I can clean up the trash next to them, maybe, and they'll keep gossiping because they don't care. They won't talk in front of people, but they will talk in front of uh, uh, <laughs> wages. <laughs> Let's go. Stay away, no, I have. Have you got any meat? Ravens. Why would you want to feed? I feel bad for them. Every well, they're plenty fat from eating the dead sheep at the farm. I'm sorry. That's not all the same. They're not the same. Okay, let's ask Marishka instead. I, I wasn't expecting to ask that, but I think we're just good. Hey, Raven will eat pumpkins. Do you have any vegetables a raven might like to eat? Ravens? Yes, I see them around my garden all the time. Hey, have you got any for sale? Sure, but take. Are all right, sure? great. Yes, I owe you after helping me with the guard. Thanks. All right, back to Fripp Square, I guess. Return, returning to Pr Fripp Square. <laughs> Oh, I clicked the wrong one. <laughs> that was my mistake. I'm so sorry. Okay. Leaks, did you say? Here. I got some stuff for you. Alfalfa sprouts, was it? Me, sir. I got this bag of alfalfa sprouts. You know, so you can feed the birds. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Uh, that didn't help me at all. According to this page. Right, let's go back to, let's, I was on my way back to Danton in the market district before I, before I found out, before I realized, oops, <laughs> I 
I keep doing that. Okay, uh, before I before I got sidetracked by food, let's go let's go back and do that then. I just just I just clicked on Gus on accident, and then he was, then I got that new option. You know how it is. <laughs> uh, Danton, I've got info. Is that what you wanted? Well, I'm supposed to meet with this guy. I don't want to break. I don't think she. Okay. No more time for idle chat now, Amy. I just have to. I have to find him. I have to physically find him. Okay. Then we will continue our search for Silas uh, next time. I was gonna say his last name, but I can't remember. <laughs> See you next week on Mystery Mondays.